fact, if I repeat a beat 70 times per minute, that's about the same pace as your pulse. Hey, I think I'm right with you. I think I'm much slower. I always knew you were a little offbeat, Mark. <laughs> oh, come on, have a heart. I do, and its rhythm helps me run. Nope. Uh, tell you, I, uh, I've only been running a mile. I've been running two miles, and I even have a pacemaker. Pace what? It's a pacemaker. Something they put in my heart. Put in your heart? How'd they do that? Oh, I can't explain it. But I have, I'm having a check up today. Why don't you come by the hospital and see? Sure. Good, that would be great. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Going to see your doc? Yeah. We went to see Dr. Cy Furman at Montefiore Hospital. Mark? We're making a recording of the action of Maurice's heart. Every time it beats, it puts out a very small electric current, and we're recording that on this electrocardiograph machine. When Maurice was here four years ago, we found on this electrocardiograph that his heart rate was not quite fast enough for all of the things that he wanted to do. Maurice was beginning to feel more tired than usual, and he really couldn't keep up with his uh, classmates and his friends in all of his daily activities. The natural pacemaker, which sets the rate of the heart, wasn't working right. Mm -hmm. And we decided at that time that he needed an artificial pacemaker, which would be placed in his heart and would make it work rapidly enough, fast enough, so that he would be able to do all of those things that he wanted to do. So exactly what is a pacemaker? Well, a pacemaker is a little device which runs on a battery and has an electronic circuit in it that makes it uh, work. That's a pacemaker very similar to the one that Maurice has in him now. This is inside Maurice? This is inside you? Yes. You don't feel this at all? No. Exactly where is it on him? Well, the easiest way for me to show you where the pacemaker is is to show it to you on Maurice's x-rays. Why don't we unhook Maurice from the electrocardiograph machine? That's it, Mark. And show you exactly where uh, the pacemaker is in Maurice. Okay. This x-ray is a front view of Maurice's chest. This is Maurice's heart. And this is the pacemaker, which puts out small electrical shocks, which tells Maurice's heart how fast to go and when to beat. If we look on the side view of Maurice's chest, we'll see the wire that take the electrical shocks from the pacemaker to the heart itself. Looks like the pacemaker is that side of his body. It does indeed, Mark, uh, but the skin simply does not show on the x-ray and lies right over the pacemaker. So the entire uh, pacemaker and the wire are both in Maurice's body. Mark, this is a model of a heart beating. The heart is a muscular pump which propels blood throughout the body once a second approximately for your entire lifetime it sends immense amounts of blood out and your very life depends on its normal function when we were jogging maurice and i, I noticed my heart started to beat faster and faster and faster and why was that that's because your muscles were working much harder needed more oxygen and more food and the heart speeded up its rate of beating to provide uh, more blood to uh, to the muscles uh, the rate speeded up like this and then slow down once again after you uh, stopped jogging and came to rest. Okay, now what about in Maurice's case? Well, in Maurice's case, the natural pacemaker of the heart wasn't working well at all, so that it allowed the heart to beat very slowly, like this. That's slow? That is slow, and that is too slow for Maurice to be able to do those things which he wants to do and which he should be able to do. A pacemaker, then, will allow the speeding up of the heart to a reasonably normal rate, a little bit like that. Now, that rate is fast enough for the body to make all those other adjustments to get Maurice to be able to have the kind of activity and normal life which he wants. Sure did. The kid almost outran me this afternoon. What do you mean, almost? That's what I said, almost. I beat you. No, you didn't. Want to try again? Yeah. Come on, let's go. See you later, though. See you later.
see. Let's set this to 120. What are you doing? I want to show you a disco beat. Disco is usually played at about 120 beats per minute. So I want to make sure I'm in time. That's called a metronome, right? Right. What else can you do with it? Well, I can set it fast or slow, whatever I want. Say, about 70 beats a minute for a love song would sound something like this. Metronome tells me how to measure time. So it's another kind of clock.